welcome back to Honey Acres Homestead. I'm sitting in front of our quail building. They're behind me and you could probably hear them inside the building crowing. They make a lot of noise, which is why I'm sitting out here instead of trying to do this video inside the building where they are. So we've had quail for several months now and we've had a chance to give them a good trial run. And we thought that, well, let's make a video and let you know what we think about them as we've experienced the highs and lows and the pros and the cons and give you a good review about our experience with quail and what we like, what we don't like, if we're happy that we're even doing them. So let's talk about that now. So quail are probably the hardest working producers on this homestead. They're the smallest, but they really bring in a lot to our homestead. They start laying eggs at six weeks old compared to a chicken at six months old. So it doesn't take long before they start bringing in good stuff for you. It's a good turnaround rate for when they start producing. That's fantastic. Also, at this point, we've had a chance to butcher out several batches of quail and have had a chance to eat them, eat the, the quail meat. And it's really good meat. They end up being ready to butcher between like eight and 12 weeks, right around 10 weeks is when we usually do it. So it's really a fast grow rate for that as well. So quail are really fast producers and very steady producers. Once these quail start laying eggs, they really just don't stop. It's, we get, so many eggs every day. They lay about an egg a day, just like a chicken. So even though quail eggs are smaller than chicken eggs and quails are much smaller birds, so they have less meat than a full grown chicken, the speed at which they produce makes up for that. So we use the eggs a lot, we use the meat, we're gonna be using it more and more to substitute for chicken. And the eggs end up being about three or four eggs for one chicken egg, and I would say about two quail equal one chicken breast or one quail equals one chicken thigh. So I've been starting to incorporate these into some of our recipes that we love that usually I would use chicken for. I just barbecued some quail using a really good marinade and this just was fantastic. It's great meat and it's awesome because it's homegrown and it's quickly homegrown. A lot of things on the homestead take a really long time to come to fruition. That is not the case for quail. It's like an instant gratification and I absolutely love that about the quail. So that is probably the number one pro, the number one thing that we love about the quail is their steady, quick productivity and bringing stuff into the table very fast. So quail are great for that. Another fantastic thing about the quail is they don't take up that much space. Now this building behind me, I mean it's a decent sized building, but we're only using about half of it for the quail and there are hundreds of quail in there. You would never know. That's because quail, they're kept more like a pet bird versus a chicken. All of our chickens and our ducks, they free range all day. They're out here, they're pecking around, they find almost all their own food, but that takes up a lot of space. With the quail, they're kept in these bird cages that are specially designed for them, designed in the, with the right headroom and space to keep them happy, to make them feel comfortable. And you can stack these cages on top of each other and it creates such a little footprint in a building that even if someone can't have chickens, maybe they don't have the property for it, maybe it's against their uh, homeowner's regulations, you could still keep quail in your garage and no one would know and you'd have your own fresh eggs and your own meat. And it's a great option for those who don't have a lot of space. So quail is fantastic for that. Another thing is just the quality of the eggs and the meat. Quail eggs are very nutritious. They taste great. You really can't tell a difference between something that's cooked with quail egg or something that's cooked with chicken egg. It's a really easy transition from one to the other. And same with the meat. The meat is kind of a more of a dark meat, so it doesn't dry out very easy and it's just a really high quality meat. So that is another pro, another thing that we like about quail. When it comes to things that we really don't like about quail, there's only a couple things on the list and honestly they're not that big of a deal. One of the things is 
well, one of the things is they are loud, but I mean, any male bird, they do their calls. So just keeping them inside of a building seems to make it seem really loud, but that's not that big of a deal. But one thing that does kind of irritate us is sometimes you'll get a mean quail and that quail will decide to pick on the other ones in its cage and you'll go and look in the morning everybody will be happy and then you go out in the afternoon and someone's been picked on and you have to pull them out and separate them so quail can get a little mean and a little feisty with each other but overall we haven't had a lot of really bad problems with how many quail we have so that's one thing you got to keep an eye on them make sure that if there are really any mean ones, maybe those ones are the next ones to get barbecued. <laughs> so anyway, that's one thing about quail. Um, another thing is, is like I mentioned before, you can't really free range them. They're wild birds. They're not domesticated like the chicken, so they won't really return to a coop at night. They'll just kind of disappear. <laughs> so if you want to keep your quail and you want to keep track of them, and have them do well, you do have to keep them in a cage. And that means that you have to feed them 100% of their food. So that is a higher feed cost than say our chickens, which we don't have to feed them anything unless we just want to. So the feed costs and keeping them happy and healthy in there, getting enough food is much higher than the chickens, which we can free range. Besides those things, they're fantastic birds. They are great. I'm really glad that Peter got us into this venture it is a lot of work for him because every morning he comes out and they all need water and they all need food and they need to have their little trays cleaned out underneath them and and i know it, it's a lot of hours and a lot of work for him but it's honestly i think it's worth it and i think he's really happy with how our quail adventure has has gone so far he actually just butchered out 20 quail this morning and at first I was thinking, before we had quail, I was thinking that's a lot of work for a little bit of meat to butcher out a small bird like a quail versus a chicken, one chicken will feed a family, whereas a quail, well, two quail feed one person. So it's a lot more labor just to get a meal. But he did a lot of research on different ways to clean the quail and the way that he's figured out to do it, it probably takes him two minutes to clean one quail. And he says it's really not that hard and really not that bad. So that's been a great thing. So I'm really glad overall that we're doing this quail adventure. We do get a lot of eggs between this and between the quail and our chicken, our chickens that we have. So we've been giving uh, raw eggs to our cats and our dogs, just cracking them over the top of their food, which they absolutely love. And it helps us to, first of all, give them some good raw protein but also helps us to use up more eggs every day. Also, Peter has been hatching quail eggs really consistently so that we always have quail in different stages of life. We have, late, we have our original bunch that this all started with. We have multiple generations after that. So I wanna take you inside the building now and just show you the cages. The cages are fantastic. The cages are designed specifically for quail, so they're the perfect size. And if you put the right ratio of female to male in each cage, you're just gonna get a nice, peaceful, productive environment in there. The cages have a wonderful little egg dispenser in the front, and because the eggs are so pretty and look like, I don't know, like malt balls or something, they look like candy. It's almost like a little candy dispenser. They just roll to the front so you can gather them very easily. They don't get pecked, they don't get stepped on, very few eggs get cracked this way. So it's a wonderful design. Another great thing about this cage is, is it has an automatic watering system with a big bucket on top that you refill and on the back side there is a water trough with a little floater valve. So all you have to do is pour the water up top and the rest of it is taken care of. They always have all the water that they could want. Another great thing about this is it has the feed tray right in the front, really easy to pour food in there and also the poop catch tray underneath is just very simple to pull it out. He, Peter puts butcher paper down so that he can just dump the whole thing with the butcher paper, put new butcher paper and slide it back in. So the cages make it possible to keep this many birds. If it was more labor intensive and took more time, it might get a little much, but because everything is so streamlined and so well designed with these cages, 
it makes it completely doable to have several hundred birds. These cages, Peter did a lot of research as he does with everything. He did a lot of research and found these cages and they're actually put out by a company called Wynola Ranch. He has another cage that he just ordered that he hasn't set up yet because we are still in expansion mode. So let's talk about future goals because it's always good to look to the future. What are you shooting for? At, at what point do you feel like you've arrived and completed your goal? So for us, Peter is really hoping to produce enough quail meat so that we can get our dogs off of store-bought dog food. And between quail meat and quail eggs, we could supply them with a really good, healthy, steady, raw diet. So that is one of Peter's goals. We have two dogs and they're rather big dogs. So it'll take a while to get up to that point. Also, we want to obviously provide enough food for our family and maybe even to sell. So we will find out what that happy number is with how many quail we need, how many cages we need, but we're still in expansion mode right now. So overall things are coming together and we're really happy about the quail.